If you're a government health official who wants to educate your taxpayers on how disease outbreaks are treated, you might want to tell them about the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's app, Solve the Outbreak. The free app, which is currently only available for the iPad, is an educational game that casts players as disease detectives who earn points by investigating clues and discovering illnesses in large populations. Solve the Outbreak turns your taxpayers into junior epidemiologists, and they have fun while they learn about government and medical operations. A player starts by tapping an orb on the home screen to choose one of three missions, an outbreak on a college campus, one at a child's birthday party, or one in a village in Kenya. Each mission features a mysterious disease that strikes a population, and the player must find out what it is. Clues offer information and ask the player to decide what to do next to get to the bottom of things and contain the incident. The right answer earns the player the most points. Sometimes a wrong answer will earn points if it's close to being right, but most of the time wrong answers just earn zero. The menu allows players to go back and answer questions over again if they want. Players move up in ranking and earn badges as their score increases. The badges range from trainee all the way up to disease detective. On the plus side, the game's pretty informative. In the text on this mission, for example, there are links and buttons taking players to information about disease, in this case, gastroenteritis, that tell them how serious it is and what bacteria or viruses cause it. There are also charts and tables displaying critical data, like this epi curve that tracks the timeline of sickness in a population. Players can also leave the game to learn about epidemiology in general. Visit the CDC website and discover what the job of an actual CDC disease detective entails. It's fun to play Solve the Outbreak and learn about disease tracking, but the game's novelty wears off after a few rounds. There are only three missions so far, so players will quickly get tired of solving the same problems over and over again. At most, Solve the Outbreak will pique your taxpayers' interest in public health and epidemiology and prompt them to conduct their own further study beyond the game's features. For more software and technology reviews, check out GovTech.com.